It is coming up on 653. Let's get a look at our top stories we're following as you head out the door. There is a huge power outage that we are dealing with in South Huntsville. Now, this is going to run along Mountain Gap Road over to Bailey Cove Road and then up Green Mountain Road. We have been in touch with some folks from Huntsville Utilities who say crews are out there working to restore power as fast as they can. But if you have friends or family in that area, you may want to check on them this morning. Investigators continue to look for the cause of a fire that damaged a home in Madison County only a few days before Christmas. This was at the scene along Moore's Mill Road Sunday. It took crews only a few minutes to put out the fire. No people were hurt, but we're told the family's pet died in the fire. An investigation continues this morning into the wreck that left a Buckhorn High School senior dead. Jordan Collier was killed in the crash last Tuesday. State troopers have not filed any charges against a driver involved who drove away from the scene. Someone accidentally drove his SUV through the side of a Lawrence County church. It happened during service. Right now, the repairs have yet to begin here at the First Missionary Baptist Church in Town Creek. Investigators say the driver has a brace on his leg, caused him to lose control. One woman inside was hurt. It's day three of the government shutdown. It's expected to continue until at least the 28th, but likely far into the new year. This morning, President Trump is still in the White House. He has announced that he will cancel his 16-day planned winter trip to Mar-a-Lago. I want to get you the latest news coming out of Indonesia this morning on that deadly tsunami. 281 people are dead, 57 more missing, and there are concerns of a possible second wave. Some 600 apartment buildings and houses, as well as nine hotels, were destroyed. The Krakatoa volcano continues to erupt. It is thought landslides triggered by the volcano may be what caused that tsunami. Back here at home, a DeKalb County man is charged in a murder right across the state line in Georgia. This is Sam Street of Valley Head. He's accused of shooting and killing Justin Alfrey in Rising Fawn, Georgia. Alfrey is also from DeKalb County. This morning, Way 31 is waiting to hear back from officials to confirm if Street will be extradited to Georgia since that is where the crime occurred. And if so, when will? A massive Christmas Eve celebration is set to take place tonight in the Rocket City. Willowbrook Baptist Church will hold a service at Milton Frank Stadium tonight. It's expected to bring out thousands of people. Doors for that open at 4.30 this afternoon with a pre-service t-shirt cannon and football giveaway just before 5. After the roughly hour-long service, the event will be capped off by a fireworks display. Now, if you plan to attend, you might want to leave early or carpool to get to the event. Bill. Happening today, the University of Alabama football team heading to Miami. It is for their first practice ahead of the Orange Bowl. That game, of course, happening this Saturday between the Tide and the Oklahoma Sooners. And Way 31 has you covered. Sports director Lyndon Blake, along with Lauren Cavasini, going to be in Miami bringing you coverage of the action starting this Wednesday. I feel bad for them having to do that, Kate, don't you? Oh, Miami sounds terrible this time.